Hello, everybody. This is Brandon with the Bare Knuckled Theologian Podcast, and I'm here with my buddy, Sean. How's it going? And we have uh, been struggling for some time, Sean, trying to get this podcast going. You know, Brandon, we actually have been. I mean, this is probably our fifth recording, Something I would like say. That. Yeah. And we have been failing miserably. We're having a lot of uh, uh, audio problems. Technical with difficulties. Yeah, technical difficulties, that's the right word. Uh, so thank you guys for keep following our Facebook page, even though we haven't really been uh, posting any podcasts yet. Um, so hopefully this one will get out there for you. This one's going to work. I have confidence it that what I'm work. saying now is going to make it into the airstreams of the world. It'll end up in your ears. That's right. It's if gonna it, work. If it doesn't, but, um, I'm gonna punch something. <laughs> it is kind of yeah. It's been a little frustrating, but you know we got it going. We figured it out. Uh, we're gonna be posting directly to YouTube, um, and then from YouTube sharing it onto the the Bare Knuckle Theologian Facebook page. So just keep checking that out, and we'll we'll get these out. We want to spend the first uh, one, Sean, just kind of giving a little bit of introduction about who we are. Uh, some yeah. people will know us, but some won't. And then also just about why. We're even doing a podcast, so I think those are good questions to start off with. So those are, those are very good questions. So Sean, I know you, but how about you take a couple seconds, maybe just to share with everybody listening a little bit about um, who you are and what's important to you. Right on. Uh, like 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 he said, my name is Sean. Uh, Twenty nine years old. Enjoy long walks on the beach. <laughs> This is yeah. not eHarmony. Oh, <laughs> sorry, I got I got mixed up. No, uh, my name is Sean. Uh, we just got three emails from young ladies. Hang on. Oh, geez. <laughs> Ivy, uh, just ignore that part. <laughs> I'm I'm happily happily married. I uh, have two kids and another one on the way. We very, got eight emails on that one. Sorry. Oh, geez. Uh, very very close to uh, the due date for the baby um, in two weeks, actually. We'll yeah. have another baby. Congratulations, man. Uh, yeah. Word. Hope he looks like Ivy. I hope so, too. Um, another thing about me, I, I'm in the National Guard, so I get to play with uh, big guns. Um, I get to do push-ups and clean bathrooms. Yeah, cleaning bathrooms. That's awesome. Oh, man, it's, it's Thank you for your to, service. Yeah, yeah. And thank you for cleaning bathrooms. Yeah, hey, you know, I do what I can for uh, America. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> I was wondering why you don't do that at home. She does. She, she's <laughs> like, wow, you spend all that time cleaning somebody else's bathroom, but you can't clean your own? Why? Maybe she needs a hat and to yell at you. Uh, she needs a hat, but she doesn't necessarily <laughs> need it to yell at me. She yells at me quite a bit. I don't bit know. Already. Isn't that what the drill sergeants, don't they have like yeah. specific hats, right? It's, got it's called hats. like the brown round is what they call is it. Is that what that's called? Yeah. Yeah, I had yeah. that name for other things. But I, okay. I know. I know. And we call those other names drill yeah. sergeants. Okay. Got you. <laughs> I got you. Okay. <laughs> We're on the same page. Yeah. Um, what about you, Brandon? What, what, uh, tell us some things about you. Oh, man, I don't know much about myself, to be honest with you. I'm I know, still it's kind of weird talking um, about ourselves. It is a little weird. Um, but I guess I'll give you a little bit of context. I need to tell you about my my family life and that sort of thing. My family is very important to me. I am um, I'm 38 years old. That's not really important to me, but I guess that's important to know. Um, 38? Wow, you're old. I didn't realize you were that old. Yeah, yeah. Dang. I'm... You know what? I'm 37. Okay. <laughs> I'm a year younger than that. I just now did the math. <laughs> I haven't thought about it in a while. I'm 37. Yeah, I was born in 76, so that makes me, yeah, gosh, I was off of my math. <laughs> I'm already adding years to my life. Uh, anyway, golly, I'm already wrong. So you can't believe anything else I say in this podcast no. for the rest of history because I even got my age wrong in episode one. <laughs> um, I'm 37. Embarrassing. Um, but yeah, I, I've, I'm married uh, to my wife, Angela. We've been married for uh, a while. <clears throat> I'm not going to do the math on that one. No, uh, 14 years. We've been married 14 years this October, so I know when that is. Um, that's all that matters, really. <laughs> that's good. I got that right, I hope. If not, oh, just got an email. No. <laughs> um, yeah, I've been married to her for 14 years, very happily married. Uh, I, I love her uh, a lot. And I've got two children, uh, Michaela and Makaja, who's nine years old and four years old. Makaja is the four-year-old the little boy, um, and they light up my life, man. And, um, baby, uh, you light up my life. Don't ever do that. Oh. Don't ever do that again. Sorry. Yeah. Uh, Thought I'd throw in a little bit. We just lost some of our first listeners. That's great. Uh, <laughs> We're no. not Bieber fans. Mm, no, not really. Um, he's got nice hair. But other than that, no. Yeah. Uh, so, I, you know, I'm a pastor and a church planter. And um, I'm currently pastoring the Bridge Church in Evansville. And God brought us here to Evansville some years ago. I'm originally from Tennessee. And, um, God brought me to the mission field of Indiana. 
And so right I'm, I'm here, and we've been pastoring and working on the Bridge Church the last few years, and um, best time of my life. I'm, I'm at a place where I'm really genuinely happy, and it's just one of those things where I know I'm doing right now exactly what uh, God wants me to do with my life. And that's that's pretty, I don't know, man, that's pretty awesome you know, oh, yeah. when you get to that place. So. Yeah, for sure. Um, I tell you, just talk about some interest that you'll probably hear on the podcast. Uh, we're a little bit into wrestling. Um, uh, you know, I started started watching wrestling uh, when I was very young. Uh, got back, uh, stopped watching it during the Attitude Era. Basically, once uh, you know my uh, wrestling hero Stone Cold Steve Austin left. Yeah. Sad day for me. Uh, but I recently got back into it, trying to watch it. It's a little painful at times watching a lot of the characters. Um, but yeah, it, wrestling is, uh, is something I like and enjoy. So you may hear a little bit of that on the podcast every now and then. Yeah. I mean, I think, uh, you know, that you mentioned that, I mean, obviously if you're watching this, you're probably seeing a picture on your screen of uh, a guy boxing from whenever that is. Um, but we're, we're, we, we called it the bare knuckle theologian for a reason. I think one of those reasons is that we like to talk about, uh, you know, fighting <laughs> basically yeah we like Punching to talk about in the face. both real i mean i'm in, i'm into mma i do like to follow that some i'm not uh, i'm not a know-it-all or an expert by any means in that um nor uh, of the professional wrestling the <clears throat> fake stuff uh we fake. all yeah i'm sorry to bust your bubble but Dude, it's it not is fake uh but uh you know the, the the stage the scripted stuff i'm into it too i followed wrestling since i was a kid and i grew up around memphis tennessee which is the the capital of uh, southern wrestling so i uh, a wrestling. I guess I need to say that right. I'm gonna get on there. Oh, wrestling. Is that really how you say it down there? Uh, yeah, I think so. Okay. Uh, okay. Yeah. Uh, right. I've forgotten some of that, but I think that's it. All right. Uh, so yeah, I mean, we we want to talk about stuff like that, but then I think uh, we also wanted to kind of tweak that a little bit and not just necessarily be about those things. They're fun, and we're gonna talk about fun stuff on this podcast. I mean, oh yeah. That's what we're all about. I mean, me and Sean are pretty immature. You know. We try to be. You know, it's, a it, it's life. very easy for us to do, to be immature. <laughs> but basically, this podcast, we just want it to be things that we're interested in because this is honestly the stuff that we talk about uh, when we don't have mics in our face. Yeah, you know, and me and Sean like to drink coffee. Let's go there. I mean, that's an I interest like of ours, right? We may talk about coffee on here and different types of coffee and the way we make them and what we like. I mean, we we sit in coffee shops often, me and Sean do, and we this is how, kind of how this stuff came about. We sat we sat with one another and we just talked, and we ended up talking about. Uh, we end up talking about uh, God, and then out of those things, just what what does that look like, you know? And so we talked about real stuff, and I think that's what we wanted to do with the podcast, was just ultimately go, we want to talk about with other people and just engage in conversation about what Christian faith is all about, and then what does it look like practically in our life, you know, uh, the raw side of things, kind of the stuff that maybe we don't talk about within the confines of the four walls of a church, maybe, but maybe we should. Yeah. Uh, and talk about the world and what it looks like to live as a Christian in the world. All right. I want to back up a little bit. You, you said back something up. about coffee. Yeah. How do you drink your coffee? Me? Yes. One no, hand? No, the other guy's standing in the room. <laughs> <laughs> the other I don't know if he's talking to me. Yeah, maybe you were asking a rhetorical question or something. No, no. You personally, Brandon. How, how do, do I take coffee? my coffee, you mean? Like, all right, in a mug? Take it. I, I don't know. I mean... <laughs> intravenously? I don't know, whatever I got to do. I, I like to shoot it up. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. I'll no, shoot it uh, up do you snort drink it, it with uh, creamer, sugar, both, or black? Okay, or I'm, I'm, uh, maybe, I'm not a, maybe I'm not a man, but I do take it with cream. Um, got to have a little bit of cream. In it. If it's just normal, regular coffee, if that's what we're talking about, I got to have some cream in it. Uh, no sugar, though. Oh, oh I'm that's not going to put sugar in there. That's not right. I, I drink my coffee like, uh, you know what? Yeah. I'm just going to say this. I like no. my coffee like I like my women. Well, strong? And black. And black. Okay. All right. All right. That's cool. That's yeah. cool. All I right. went there on podcast one. Yeah. Right, maybe I, I shouldn't have. Uh, we just lost three more listeners. <laughs> just looking at the. Th <laughs> that, that's all right. Um, so we'll narrow it down to the, just the the middle class white people. That's so all right. Good. Thanks, Sean. Uh huh. Um, <laughs> uh, and Ivy, if you're listening again, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> There's going to be a lot of apologies over the course of this podcast. I got I'm going to be really in trouble. I'm just going to go ahead and stop and get some flowers on the way home. <laughs> that's probably a good idea already. <laughs> um, yeah. So, yeah, I, I don't know. I, that's the way I take mine. I don't drink a lot of coffee, though. Do you, I mean, I, I do drink coffee, but not... I do that at home more, but, like, if I go out and stuff, I, I like to get other stuff. I'm kind of a... I don't know if I'm a coffee snob. I don't say a snob because I don't I don't know everything there is to know. I'm like I don't know how you make half half the stuff I want, but yeah, I'm definitely not a coffee snob. I enjoy drinking it. I love it. Um, but I will drink the cheap stuff from Dollar General. 
No, that's nasty. See, that's that's gross. I like my coffee. I like coffee though. See, my dad. I'm gonna put throw him under the bus because he probably won't listen to these podcasts. Uh, my dad used to drink this instant Maxwell House. Yeah. That's it's it's like powder and it's yeah. like you just mix it with water that's not boiled. Yep. That's nasty. That I, is the I, worst tasting see, stuff you've ever drank. It's like dirt. All right. When you are used to drinking coffee every single day. Well, yeah, like And me. then you all of a sudden go to basic training. Yeah. And you don't get that coffee anymore. And you see that little package of coffee and MREs, oh, you get excited. You get okay. really excited. You well, mix so, that man. I don't know, man, water. but I, that Maxwell House stuff is nasty. I've tried to try it. I was like, spit it out. It's I don't like even dirt. Know what the brand name is mine. It's like pot and soil and water. I don't know. Just yeah, it, right. it's disgusting. I mean, it's not the best. It's not what I. Choose. Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't be bragging on MRE coffees. I've never, I've never had it. And I'm not going to basic training anytime soon. No. But I, I wouldn't think that would be the thing you'd hold up it, as a model. It's not. Coffee, but I mean, I'm saying. But, but I'm saying. I guess. I, I guess I just. I just love coffee so much. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter anything. to you. See, I love it so much to keep it pure. You know what I'm saying? Sure. Like, sure. I mean, okay, I can't make a good analogy there, but that's okay. I, I, I want I want the good stuff, and so I'll spend an extra dollar or two to get some good coffee if I need to. Um, now, I, my, my kids may not eat. Oh. And I okay. may go poor for a week, but I'm going to get right. Starbucks coffee or right. some brand. <laughs> I'm very responsible. Uh, don't listen to this. Uh, but yeah, I, I like to get like uh, espresso stuff. I'm I'm big into right now, man. I, every time I'm going, I'm like, I mean, I want americano. I want I want that to drink, and so that's my drink right now. I go through phases, but that's where yeah. I'm at. Um, and I'm wondering if anybody listening to this really even cares. But that's okay. Uh, that's I mean, why we're doing we did this podcast. Just go on a couple minutes about coffee. We did, but that's fine. Oh, well, this is our podcast. Yeah, this that's right. Me. It's not it's not your podcast. It's yeah, our podcast. Turn us off. Turn it back later, though. <laughs> yeah, See what we're saying later. <laughs> um, and we'll do that occasionally. I think that's the the gist of what we're wanting to do here. Me and Sean both had um, kind of a I don't know, I almost said the call, but uh, but kind of something God laid on us to to do this and to engage in conversation about certain things. And sometimes they're going to be silly. Sometimes they're going to be fun. We're we're just we're just two dudes. Um, we're not experts, right, Sean? I mean, about most things. Um, uh, no, I uh, mean, definitely not. Sean's an expert on love. Uh, he's he's got that down pat. He's he knows what that's all about. Yeah, I'm I'm an right. expert on well eating. I'm good at that. Right now I have Barry Manilow, Barry Barry uh, Barry who? <laughs> dang it, Barry Manilow. Barry Manilow. That's uh, pretty romantic, Sean. Uh, thank you, um, yeah. Barry. As long as you ain't got Kenny G or something, we're fine. Yeah, Kenny G. Yeah, there we go. A love artist. I got their songs going through my head all the like, time. Yeah, as, as an expert on love is going, yeah. Uh, I'll just use generic love artist. I have a love artist in my CD player right now. That's, that's um, right. A love, art, a love artist. <laughs> a well-known love artist. Okay. Uh, that I can't name. Uh, but, yeah, uh, we're not experts on anything, you know, but we like to talk, obviously, and we, we want to discuss some things. And sometimes, again, they'll be fun. We'll talk about wrestling. Matter of fact, at the end of this podcast, we're going to do a little game, a little trivia, a little competition that I'm going to throw Sean into. Bring it on. Uh, yeah. And then uh, that was weird. Um, that's okay. Uh, you should have seen the face. We need video. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but, yeah, uh, we may do fun stuff, and then, then we'll flip it on you, and we'll, we'll talk about something serious. You know, there's stuff going on. Um, all the time and there's plenty of things that we're learning as we go um, uh, me and Sean both recently we were talking about this and as a matter of fact on the other five podcasts we've already recorded yep. uh, we kind of laid out there that we're interested in reform theology that that's uh, something we're both interested in it piques our interest uh, we've been kicking it around and I'm sure that will be something that we'll discuss yeah you know kind of just where I'm at with it uh through my point of view with uh, this podcast, I am a new, brand new Reformed person. Uh, I, I don't know what <laughs> yeah, you would call us. That's better than unknown love artist. <laughs> yeah, right, an unknown love artist. I, I, I am new to the uh, Reformed, uh, uh, one word that you like to use, Reformed <laughs> camp. Um, I'm learning a lot about it. Uh, I have a lot of things that sometimes, honestly, hey, I'll be honest, it's kind of hard for me to grasp. Um, but that's uh, that's a lot of things that we'll talk about on this podcast. Word. Brandon, you've been in it for, I don't know, you like Years, the leader of the camp, right? No, yeah, not quite. <laughs> You're right up there next to uh, Mr. Mm-hmm. Calvin himself? It's <laughs> something like that, okay. yeah, me and Jean Calvin. <laughs> uh, no, uh, I, I'm, I've, for the last few years, I've kind of gone that way. I did not start that way in my ministry or my life, uh, but uh, the more I've kind of studied and, and grown in my faith, I have 
leaned towards the Reformed theology. So I do like to talk about those things. And by all means, do I not think that it's uh, exclusive to other viewpoints and other so-called camps, but I do like to discuss them. And so I'm sure they'll, those things will come up. And if that's not your camp and you hate that and you just really can't stand dirty Calvinists, then you can send us an email and we'll print it out and Sean will do what with it? I cannot say that. <laughs> no, you will file it in chapter 13. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> right? I, I thought no, wait, chapter 13 is the wrong. What I, I would keep do getting that wrong. No, yeah, well, you can do that too. But, I, I was going to use uh, it. Right, with the, the drill sergeant's hat. But I think ultimately <laughs> what you would want to do, we'll, we'll just throw Google. that away. Okay, <laughs> so <Google. laughs> there you go. <laughs> I, uh, you know what? I, I got a question for you, Brandon. You got a question? Yeah, we're okay. two guys, <laughs> okay, two dudes that uh, don't know anything about podcasts. Obviously, this is the fifth one that we've recorded. Yeah, we pretty, and, pretty much uh, suck I'm when it hoping, comes to podcasts. I'm hoping, fingers crossed, we'll be able to get this one on there. Yeah. Uh, why are you doing this? <laughs> <laughs> why are you doing a I, podcast? I'm trying to answer that myself right now. I have no idea. No, um, beating your head up against after the wall. five of them, you kind of go, well, maybe I'm not supposed to do this. Um, well, for me, Sean, honestly, the the big thing for for where I'm heading with this is it's it's just a good platform for me to talk about things and discuss things that I think are important uh, and are fun and get get that discussion going in a way that I can't uh, in, in other ways. And what I mean by that is being a preacher, I'm used to speaking, I'm used to communicating, I'm always up in front of a group of people weekly and that sort of thing. And um, there's some things that you just don't ever hardly get to talk about or get to, to really flesh out with somebody, but you do when you maybe go to a coffee house or uh, sit in a bar across from somebody and just hang out with them and chat with them. Um, you may have more uh, interesting conversations that way about faith that yeah. you, you wouldn't have other. And so this is a platform for me to be able to do that. And it's with a good friend of mine and we get to sit and just uh, laugh, cut up, talk, share and do stuff that we've already been doing for however long. But now we get to invite other people, whoever wants to, to, to the table with us. And so, um, you know, and then, you know, over the course of time, we're going to have different interviews with people. We're going to bring other folks into this podcast, talk to them. I like that idea. I, I, I like the idea of seeing others, um, that we get to talk to and that won't maybe believe the way we do or think the way we do. We're going to be kind of outside the box with it. Um, yeah, I'm kind of excited about that. I think it's one thing I like about with uh, both of you and I's point of view. We definitely think outside the box on some things, uh, which is kind of brings me to the point where I why I want to do a podcast. Um, I want to challenge uh, people's thoughts. I want to challenge Christian thinking. Um, I want to challenge how Christians think and people who don't consider themselves to be Christians. I want to challenge the way they think and, and the way that they look at us. I think uh, as Christians, I think that we tend to act a certain way. We tend to, um, I don't know, fit ourselves into a Christian mold. I think people who don't consider themselves Christian, uh, non-Christians, um, I think they tend to look at us at a certain way that we've kind of fallen to this certain mold all the way around. And, and I want to break that mold. I want to use this podcast to, to, to just change the way that we think and the way that others think about us. Okay. Yeah, that sounds good. I like that. And I think that's part of what I'm trying to do too. And um, um, looking forward to being able to try that. And just see how how it goes. I think a couple of things we probably should say right off the bat in episode one too uh, is one two. I'm not so I'm sure what I'm saying there. In episode one, as we, well. Uh, we as well. There we go. Uh, we need to get out that you know, me and Sean are not always going to agree on certain things. We may debate. We may argue. Hey, why not? Uh, but doing it in a god godly, grace filled way. And uh, have fun with it. You know, right. we, we may, you know, just kind of kick stuff around and, and say, well, and, and then we may say things that you think uh, Christians maybe shouldn't say or talk about or discuss. I mean, we've already gone, you know, the brown round. Uh, you know, we, we, go, <laughs> we may go places that make most people feel uncomfortable. And you may think less of us as a, as a believer, as a Christian. And that's really not our point. We're not trying to offend. We're not trying to be jerks or, or no. just be cutting edge or whatever to be that way. But we want to be real. Uh, we are humans. We are real people. And uh, we want to bring a certain element to this that people that aren't, um, super sanitized Christians that may listen to this and get offended. We we actually that's not our main audience, to be honest. No. Um, am I right on that, Sean? I, I definitely think you're right. I mean, we are real people. We go through real struggles. Uh, we go through real the things. Struggle is real, yo. This, this is that real? 
No, I mean, we, we go through stuff. We live lives just like everybody else. And, and that's kind of the mold that I was talking about. I think uh, a lot of Christians out there pretend like they don't live in the world, that it doesn't rain over their house, um, that it just bad things don't really happen to them. Yep. And guess what? That's not the case. That's not the case. But then we need to talk about, well, what, how do we respond to that? I mean, right. when it is raining over my house, it's okay to be open and say, hey, man, life kind of stinks right now. And, and so what does it look like? What, well, how does a Christian, yeah, how does a Christian respond to that in the real world uh, and quit kind of, I don't know, giving Mamby Pamby sanitized answers to everything or just religious cliche phrases, I guess. Ooh, religious cliche phrases. I, that actually one thing. We're not going to use the Christianese words. I'm going to try not to. Like, I, I but I'm in that culture use, all the time, uh, so it's hard. We are in that culture. Like, I try not to use the word, you know, non-saved. And so I try to use like, yeah. non-Christian well, because, uh, yeah. you know. I use this stuff all the time. I mean, because I'm always around, it seems like, more than I want to be, to be honest with you, around pastors, preachers, church people that get it and they get that language. And so it's hard for me sometimes. I always have to come back and go talk like a real person you know, <laughs> for change and quit using language. Now, some language is important. And I'm not trying to gloss over that either. There is certain language we do use in the church sense or in a Christian sense that we do need to use and we need to explain what that means. I mean, I just preached on repentance this morning. I think it's important that we talk about repentance and what that actually means. But I don't think just, you know, casually using phrases that most non-Christian people would uh, listen to and say, wow, I don't know. I have no idea what they're talking about. I don't think you're doing any good there. So I'm with you on that one. Um, I think we're running lower on time. We're starting to get to the end of our first podcast. We're, we're going to try to time these to be about 30 minutes long. That's kind of our our aim. We don't want them to be so long that you guys just kind of go, man, they just really spend a lot of time talking <laughs> and yeah. it's hard to listen to. We, we actually got, we want you guys to listen from beginning to end. <laughs> <laughs> kind of sort of. We don't you check out halfway through and go, man, these guys, oh, they're just droning on. Uh, we want to have good content. Uh, we're going to work at it. We'll get better at this over time. We want to grow and, and learn the, the trade and learn what we're doing. Um, and we want to not waste your time. So just to continue to pray for us in that and think about us as we as we get geared up to do these. I want to spend the last few minutes, Sean, um, doing a game. Spend it. We're all about games. We got plenty of ideas for games that we want to play. And let me just say this. We got a couple we got maybe a minute here. Let me share this. If you guys out there that are listening to us in T V K T land uh, how'd you like what, that? What's that mean? What does that mean? The bare knuckle theologian. Oh, uh, oh yeah, TVKT. <laughs> yeah, like all right. It. There we go. Um, for those of you that are listening out there, and then you go to our Facebook page and you can interact with us. You can comment on the page. Um, if you have things you want us to talk about, or if you have ideas for a bit or a game or some segment you want us to do, give us give us a shout. Let us know. Yeah. Um, talk about it on the on the on the Facebook page, and we'll we'll incorporate it. We'll put it in there. Definitely interact with us. Or we're two guys speaking in a room into some microphones, and yeah, that can get dull. Yeah, yeah, sure. So definitely. So we're always looking for ideas and looking for topics to talk about. I mean, we've got ideas for different segments and different things we want to do over the course of time, and I'm sure we'll cover those. And but but we're always looking for for extra stuff. So and along with the Facebook page, we're going to try having this go through YouTube. So we're going to have a YouTube page, uh, so you can comment on the videos, uh, you can uh, share it easier. Um, so yeah, we should be able to have a little bit more format than just uh, Facebook for you guys. Yep, sounds good. Um, okay, here's our, here's our quiz. This is a wrestling trivia quiz, Sean, and oh. so I figured we'd come right out of the gate with something yeah. about wrestling, just to see we got it. We got to set the standard, set the bar for just how knowledgeable you really are. Oh at gosh, this. Well, because we did say I wasn't an expert, right? We did cover that. Well, I thought I heard you say you were an expert in wrestling, but uh, I, I, no, maybe I'm wrong. Um, let's see. I'm going to throw out some of these uh, trivia questions. They're just all right. These are general WWE or WWF questions. Okay. All right. Uh, let's just start with this one. Um, this is sh this one should be easy. Let's see if you can get this one. Who? What wrestler is known to say this catchphrase? Oh yeah. To be the man, you have to beat the man. You said this one was easy. That is very easy, Sean. Come on. What? What? Uh, I I know this is bad. Hmm? What? Um. What era? What era? Mm -hmm. uh, um. Like what years? Dang it! I'm I don't know. He's been off. he's been in and out for over the course of time. <laughs> uh, so I really couldn't. He's I been mean, in and out over the course of time. Yeah. To be the man, you must to beat be him. the man. You got to beat the man. And then he says something else at the end of it that if I said that it would it would 
Cool it off. You know who that is. Well, can we... Uh... <laughs> you going to phone a friend at this point? If you need to? <laughs> might need to. All right, so um, let's see. I'm going to give you another hint about him. Oh, gosh. Yeah. Uh, he always wore some nice clothes to the ring. He and always had some Flair. nice... Yes, Rick Ric Flair. Flair. Okay. Uh, you know, I almost wanted to say Rick Flair in and out of time. You know, Exactly. Yeah, okay. Rick Flair. So, I, you know, he I don't know when his era was. He really he wasn't big in WWE. He was big in WWE, at WWF back in the day for yeah. a while. And then he went, obviously, to WCW, then All Impact right, well, Wrestling, then now back to WWF. Starting off on the right foot, just uh, yeah. screwed up Rick Flair. Yeah, he <laughs> lost Rick Flair already, so it looks like our standards are going to be pretty low. That's okay. All right, who won the World Heavyweight oh, Championship? The WWF World heavyweight championship by defeating Sergeant Slaughter at Wrestlemania 7. 7. Uh, would that be... Uh, see, that's a little bit before my time. I'm going to go out on a limb and I say... I forgot. You're young. You know, I am. I'm 38. Uh, Hulk Hogan? <laughs> slash 37. Um, is that your final answer? Uh, it is, yeah. That, it was Hulk Hogan. Oh. Yeah. It says here that Sergeant Slaughter had the pin, but the referee was distracted. Which happens quite often in it does. wrestling. Uh, I, I, I've been needing to talk about that. I think they need to, uh, to have better training for the referees that are in professional wrestling because almost every match I've seen, like take Earl Hebner for example. He's an old guy. He's been mm -hmm. around for a hundred years. He misses foreign objects all the time. He allows managers to hop up on ring aprons and continue to distract him from what's happening in the ring so somebody can get a schoolboy roll up and pin him within two seconds when he turns around. I don't understand how these guys don't have more disciplinary action on the referees because they drop the ball all the time. Hey, it's wrestling. Is that your answer? Really? That's, that's, it's, yeah, it's wrestling. You I mean, like, it. Earl Hebner can get hit with an elbow by accident in a corner, and he can be knocked out on the floor for like an hour. Well, that's why he's not a professional wrestler. That's why he's just a referee. They're just weaker? Is that what it oh, is? Yeah. Just, okay, I don't get it. They, I think they just need to have a better accountability board. We need to hire better referees or something. Man. Half these matches in, in wrestling wouldn't end the way they are because of the sorry referee. You know what I'm saying? Sure. Earl Hebner, the classic... Montreal screw job. We know that one. Um, okay. Who was the first ever WWE women's champion? I don't know. You don't know. Uh probably uh, uh, that is that doesn't surprise me at this point. <laughs> no, I know. I'm really bad apparently at wrestling history. Of well, that's history. okay. We're we're here to learn. But can I give you can I drop a little knowledge on you? Drop it because I'm not really seeing it. Because you're not really dropping because <laughs> you're dropping a whole lot on me with all this. All right. Go ahead. What you got? Um Somebody's going to look it up on Wikipedia if you get it wrong. Yeah, yeah I know. And fine. You. That's fine. There was a, a woman's wrestler. Okay. Um, I'm trying to remember her name. Do you remember Glow Championship Wrestling? No. Okay. Just checking. Um, she wrestled with the famous Moolah. Okay. Uh, oh, my gosh. This is so bad. She's my great-grandmother. It's your great-grandmother? Yes. My biological... June Byers. June... Byers. June Byers. That's your great grandmother. She is my gr uh, great grandmother, my biological grandmother. My dad was adapt adopted. Okay. And I am related to June Byers. Are you? Mm -hmm. What was her wrestling name? Was it June Byers? Yeah, June Byers. Go look her up. Okay. She wrestled during that time. I think she died early. I don't obviously know a lot about her because I never grew up around her. Okay. But that is my great grandmother. Okay, so awesome. Go well, to Wikipedia. Yeah, hey. Myers. And I Steve imagine... Austin is my dad. I need to let you know that too. <laughs> that's why I have no dang, hair. Dang. Okay, that's no, not I true, but oh well. Not, it's not June Byers, I imagine. Um, I'm going to go with the great Moolah. It's not, it's not June Byers, no. You're going to go with the, what, the fabulous Moolah, maybe? Yeah. Okay. I, well, I'm I didn't sure. think she was all that fabulous, I, so I just went with great. I don't know if she was that great. Really. Okay. Was that her name too? Was she also a great Moolah? That was just fabulous, man. Were you thinking about Great Muta? <laughs> Wasn't that his name? Dang it. The Great Muta? All right, Remember man. him? He spit the green mist because he didn't yes, brush his teeth. You I know did. what I'm talking about? Yeah, man. He had dragon breath. I'm okay. sorry about my wrestling knowledge right now. You need to step it up, Sean. I we're know. just going to have a long time on these podcasts. I know it. It's all about wrestling that we don't know. Um, okay, you got it right, actually. So, congratulations. Thank fabulous you. Moolah. Fabulous. Okay. Was fabulous. she defeated Judy Grable? You know, was that your... No. Okay, just checking. Um, she beat her in a tournament final in September 18th of 1956. So the first women's champion was crowned in I 1956. Think my great-grandmother, though, stole her husband. <laughs> stole it's, her husband. it's all in Wikipedia. I have to go back and double-check, but I, it's all in Wikipedia. I'm pretty sure she stole the fabulous Moolah's husband. 
stole the fabulous Mulan's husband. Wow. I don't That's neat. We'll have to get that. into that story sometime. You need yeah. to look it up and see how it happened and come out right. and share with us. All right. I will. I have I'd be interested in knowing with it. how that happened. Um, I think we're about out of time. We asked a few questions. Let me see. I'm going to throw one more question in. We'll all be all right. right. Uh, let's see. Uh, give me someone. I'm going to give you... Okay. Which one of these was not a tag team in the WWE history? Okay. Okay. Uh, Power and Glory. The South Pacific Connection. The Killers Team. Or Two Dudes with Attitudes. Oh my gosh. And I've never heard of any of them. Is that bad? <laughs> I'm going to have to go with the second one, the South Pacific Connection. The South Pacific Connection. Okay, that actually was a, a tag team. Oh. It was uh, Jimmy Snuka and Ricky Steamboat. They were the South Pacific Connection. You remember Superfly? I do. Okay. Um, so, yeah, no, you got that one wrong, too. Uh, Two Dudes with Attitudes was one. And that was, uh, see, that one sounds like that would be Yeah, funny. that was Diesel. That was uh, Kevin Nash and Shawn Michaels. I like Kevin Nash. I'm, okay. But I never heard of that tag yeah. team, though. Uh, you know, I don't guess I've really heard of that one either, but uh, I'll, I'll take this thing. Can't have been a very long-lasting. No. They were two dudes with attitudes, though. Uh, Power and Glory. That was Hercules and Paul Roma. Okay. So that's pretty old school. The Killers team is not one. That does sound like a made-up name. The yeah, Killers kinda, team. Yeah, it kind of does. I mean, okay. come on. All right. All right. Fair enough. Okay. All right. So, so there's our yeah. trivia for the week. Uh, next week, we'll do something else to make Sean Definitely look like a complete else. inadequate on wrestling. <laughs> All you right. ask me questions next time. That way yeah. I, we can make this even and make it look like uh -huh, neither yeah. one of us know what we're talking about. Uh, but that's cool. That's why we're here. We're here to entertain and here to have a good time. Next uh, episode, we'll do a little bit of chatting about some serious topics. Maybe we'll talk about some things in the news, uh, some different things going on, and then um, some theology and that sort of thing. So uh, check us out. Make sure you like us up on the Facebook page. Share this with your friends. Yes, definitely do that. Comment, uh, comment share, all of that stuff. Interact with us. Let us know what's going on. Let us know if you like it. Let us know if you hate it. If you do, we will well, chapter 13. We'll print it and chapter 13 it. So. All right. All right. Thanks a lot, guys. Have a good one.